Welcome to an introduction to the chain rule of differentiation. The chain rule is a differentiation technique that allows us to find derivatives of composite functions. For example, y of x is a composite function if it's in the form of f of g of x. The derivative of a composite function is the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. And there are several common ways to express the chain rule. So once again, if we have y of x equals f of g of x, then y prime of x, or the derivative of f of g of x with respect to x, is equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x, where f prime of g of x is the derivative of the outer function f evaluated at the inner function g of x, and g prime of x is the derivative of the inner function. We can also express a chain rule using Leibniz notation, where if u is the inner function, y prime of x, which is equal to dy dx, equals dy du times du dx, where once again dy du is the derivative of the outer function evaluated the inner function u, and du dx is the derivative of the inner function. I think an easier way to apply the chain rule where we have y of x equals f of g of x is to let u equal g of x the inner function, which indicates we can write the composite function as f of u, and therefore the derivative of y of x with respect to x is equal to f prime of u times u prime. Where once again, f prime of u is a derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function, and u prime is a derivative of the inner function. For example, if we're given f of x equals the cube of the quantity two x plus one, notice here the inner function is two x plus one, and therefore we let u equal two x plus one. Let's go ahead and find u prime now. u prime or du dx is equal to two. So notice now if u is equal to two x plus one, we can say f of u is equal to u cubed. This indicates that f prime of x is equal to f prime of u times u prime. Again, this is the chain rule, where f prime of u is equal to three u squared, giving us f prime of x equals three u squared times u prime. From here, we replace u with two x plus one, u prime with two, and simplify. This gives us f prime of x equals three times the square of two x plus one times two. Again, because u is two x plus one, and u prime is two. Simplifying one last time, we have f prime of x equals six times the square of the quantity two x plus one. Let's look at some more examples. Before we look at these two examples, in the upper right hand corner, I have the general power rule, or the power rule that includes the chain rule. We have the derivative of u to the n with respect to x equals n times u to the power of n minus one times u prime. And now for our examples, first we have f of x equals two times a seventh power of four x cubed plus five. We begin by identifying the inner function and label it u. Notice here we have u equals four x cubed plus five. Let's go ahead and find u prime, where u prime is du dx, which gives us u prime equals 12 x squared. Letting the base equal u, we can say that f of u is equal to two u to the seventh, and therefore f prime of x, applying the chain rule, is equal to f prime of u times u prime. f prime of u is a derivative of two u to the seventh with respect to u, which gives us two times seven u to the sixth, and then we have times u prime. And now we're done with the calculus. We now replace u with four x cubed plus five, and u prime with 12 x squared. And we'll go ahead and simplify this. Two times seven times 12 x squared is equal to 168 x squared, giving us f prime of x equals 168 x squared times the sixth power of four x cubed plus five. For the next example, we first need to write the square root using the rational exponent of one half. And now we identify u, the inner function. u is equal to two x squared plus five x minus two. Next, we find u prime. u prime is a derivative of two x squared plus five x minus two, which is four x plus five. Using this information, we can write g of u equals five u to the one half, which indicates g prime of x equals g prime of u times u prime, where g prime of u is the derivative of five u to the one half with respect to u, which is five times one half times u to the power of one half minus one, giving a power of negative one half, and then times u prime. And again, here we're done with the calculus. We now replace u with two x squared plus five x minus two, and u prime with four x plus five, and simplify. 
performing substitution, we have g prime of x equals five times one half times the quantity two x squared plus five x minus two to the power of negative one half times four x plus five. Let's go ahead and multiply. Let's write this as g prime of x equals five halves times the quantity four x plus five times the quantity two x squared plus five x minus two to the power of negative one half. And we can also make this exponent positive by moving the quantity two x squared plus five x minus two to the denominator, which is shown here on the right. And finally, we can also replace the rational exponent of one half with a square root. Let's take a look at two more examples. Notice I've included some additional derivative formulas here on the right that include the chain rule. Next, we have h of x equals 11 e to the power of three x to the eighth. Looking at our derivative formulas, notice u is equal to the exponent of three x to the eighth, and therefore u prime is equal to 24 x to the seventh. We can write h as a function of u as h of u equals 11 e to the u. This indicates that h prime of x is equal to h prime of u times u prime, where h prime of u is 11 e to the u, and then again we have times u prime. Performing substitutions for u and u prime, we have h prime of x equals 11 times e to the power of three x to the eighth times 24 x to the seventh. Let's go ahead and multiply 11 and 24 x to the seventh giving the derivative as h prime of x equals 264 x to the seventh e to the power of three x to the eighth. And for our last example, we have g of x equals four times natural log of the quantity x cubed minus four x squared plus five. Where the inner function u is the cubic function, and therefore u prime is three x squared minus eight x. We can now write g as a function of u as g of u equals four natural log u which indicates g prime of x equals g prime of u times u prime, which is four times one over u times u prime. Again, performing substitutions for u and u prime, we have g prime of x equals four times one over the quantity x cubed minus four x squared plus five times the quantity three x squared minus eight x. Multiplying, we have g prime of x equals the product of four and three x squared minus eight all divided by the quantity x cubed minus four x squared plus five. If we want to, we can also factor out the common factor of x from the binomial shown here on the right. I hope you found this helpful.